science. Grade three quarter one. Chapter one. Doing science. Scientists study matter in an exact and safe way. To understand things around you, you need to study them. In this chapter, you will know how to be safe in the laboratory. You will also learn how to measure the mass, volume, and length of objects. In this chapter, you will be able to do the following. Observe safety precautions in the laboratory. Identify things in the laboratory that can bring you harm. Describe objects based on their mass, volume, and length. Measure the mass, volume, and length of objects using measuring tools. Use proper units of measurement in describing the mass, volume, and length of objects. Lesson 1. Safety in the Laboratory. A laboratory is important in doing experiments. There are many kinds of laboratories. But in this lesson, when we say laboratory, we are talking about science laboratory. Science laboratory. A science laboratory is a place where experiments are done. It can be a regular laboratory with many tools and chemicals. It can also be any place where you do an experiment. Some experiments are done in the school garden or in the classroom. Wherever you do an experiment, you can consider that place a laboratory. Hazards in the laboratory. How can we be safe when doing experiments? The key to safety is to manage the hazards in the laboratory. Hazards are things that can bring harm to anyone or anything. For example, Spilled water on the floor can cause accidents. Spilled water is a hazard. While some hazardous materials can be removed in the laboratory, some are not. Hazardous materials are the things that can be source of danger. For example, if glass test tube break into pieces, you can throw the glass pieces in the trash so that the sharp pieces will not be able to hurt anyone. Types of hazardous materials Explosive These are materials that are prone to explosion. Example of explosive materials are alcohol and defective batteries. Flammable These materials can easily catch fire when exposed to heat. Examples of flammable materials are oil and cotton cloth. Corrosive These materials can damage other materials they come in contact with. Corrosive materials may create chemical changes in substances touching them. They can also harm us if they get to our skin or our eyes. Examples of corrosive materials are highly concentrated acids. Toxic These are materials that can make us feel sick if eaten, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. Examples of toxic materials are bleach and insecticides. Health Hazard being exposed to these materials can lead to sickness. An example of these materials is mercury, the tiny liquid inside a thermometer. Environmental hazard. These are hazards that can harm other living things if thrown into the soil or water sources. Examples of these materials are bleach and insecticides. Let us review. 1. How should a student behave in the laboratory? 2. Everyone should observe safety in doing experiments. 
Two, it is a place where experiments are done. Answer, science laboratory. Three, being exposed to these materials can lead to sickness. Answer, health hazard.